loves welcome back to brandy's closet today i have a holiday uh tutorial which is the look that i'm wearing right now it's something very very simple very feminine and uh nothing crazy i didn't want to do anything crazy for the holidays um and yeah guys i hope you guys enjoy this look i hope you guys are enjoying my videos please please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up uh, and let me know down below what you think about this look and if you guys want to know anything about me and yeah guys so if you guys want to know how i achieve this simple festive holiday look please keep watching, watching. bye this palette it's very very pigmented i love it this is the jeffrey uh morphe times jeffree star palette and look how beautiful it is it's so gorgeous it's very 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 pigmented i love the all the colors they're beautiful you could do any orangey olive green gold nude uh smoky you could do any look with this palette in my opinion it's a beautiful 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 palette so i totally recommend for you guys to purchase this palette uh i mean i would totally travel with this palette also because of the mirror right here it's so big and here you guys are hi <laughs> But yeah, um, it, the pa the mirror is super big, so you guys can totally, you know, if you go traveling, you guys can use the mirror, and you guys can look at yourself. You don't have to take a big mirror, obviously. And yeah, guys, I love, love, love the packaging as well. I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. And, you know, Jeffree Star, all pink on the back. Totally recommend this palette very easy to blend to blend the eyeshadows are like butter literally you just blend them out this look did not take a very long time it's just like blend 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 and it's blend literally like blend right away so i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys like this palette if you purchase if you purchase this palette uh let me know down below the first shade that we're gonna be using is this one right here chanel and we're gonna grab that color and a uh, Morphe brush, that M441. And it's like an orangey um, color. So we're gonna go ahead and put it all over our crease like this. So we're gonna do circular motion so we could go ahead and blend out the color very, very well. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the color Boss Angeles, this one right here. It's like a burnt orange. So we're gonna grab another brush, the M441, and we're gonna grab that color and put the orange on the outer of the eye, like this. So we could give the eye a little more definition, like this, and like this. We are going to bring the color a little, you know, forward like this and a little bit on our crease, just like that. Now that we have the color placed on our eyes, we're going to go ahead and grab a bigger brush. This brush is from Lux Luxy and it's a 250. It's pretty big and I'm just going to grab that brush and blend the two colors together. gonna grab another brush and it's from morphine is a four m433 and it's a little more smaller than the one that we were using um and this one is more dense and more i don't know like you could pack color better with this brush and we're gonna be using the color um calabasas it's like a burgundy color right here and we're gonna be mixing it with hi dude i love the names so we're gonna go ahead and mix both of them and put it in the outer of the eye just like this so 
So we're going to go ahead and blend it out, blend it out. Now that we have the color pack, we're going to grab that big brush again and we're going to go ahead and blend all the three colors together. Just like this. I love these brushes so you could pack color. Like for example, you want to pack like a matte color, any color that you like, this is like perfect to pack all over your lid. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the color my and place it like this. You guys, as you guys can see how pigmented it looks due to well, the eyeshadow is very pigmented, but the brush gives it a full pigmentation. So we're just gonna keep adding until you like the color. You achieve the color that you want, the, in, the intense of the color that you want. And just like this. Now we're gonna grab the brush that we got, the burgundy and the brown. And we're gonna grab a little bit more burgundy and a little bit more brown. And now we're just gonna blend Blend out the color just like this. Like this. Blend, blend, blend. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our eyeliner. This situation of the eye glittery eye glittery eyeliner, I thought was gonna be better. But the reason why I think it's not a hundred percent sharp how I wanted it to be is because I don't have a very small brush, like an eyeliner brush. I don't know how to explain it to you. I do have some, and I tried to use this ones, and it really didn't work out. I feel like I needed something smaller like this, small. So I have to invest on one of those brushes, and I think that's, that's pretty much the reason why, or probably I can do it sharp and beautiful enough, but... Just bear with me if you guys have a better brush and if you guys have a really nice eyeliner that you guys can use which I do have an eyeliner that it's a uh, silver but it's not as pigmented as this one so you guys will see what I use right now so I'm gonna be using the wet and wild eyeliner mega liner on the color black and we're just gonna do her wing Eyeliner, not an eyeliner, but it's a um, glittery shadow, and it's from the brand Italia, Italy, and it's the Miss Metal Glitter Shock Liquid Shadow, and it's this one right here, and it's the silver one, the North Star, 01 North Star, and it looks just like the Stella, this, I have the Stella one right here, and this is the the Italia one they look identical but I want to use this one the Italia one and I'm gonna put it in back of my hand and I'm gonna be using the elf uh, concealer brush and I'm gonna draw an eyeliner on top of the black eyeliner that we already did. Now I'm going to be using the J-Cat glitter in the silver color and I'm going to put the brush inside and remove the excess and go on top of it so we could make it a little more intense. Just like this. 
and I'm gonna be doing the whole, the whole eyeliner. We're gonna go ahead and get her, we, your um, Wet n Wild liner and go over her black eyeliner. Okay, as you guys um, see, I'm already done with both of my eyes. I applied uh, a nude waterline from essence and uh it's waterproof um and the color is silky nude and it looks just like this and that's what i apply on my water line so now i'm gonna go ahead and apply my cremita and put it all over my face I'm gonna uh, fast for forward this because you guys seen me plenty of time doing my foundation and all that stuff. So have fun watching the rest of the tutorial. my love so this is the final look this is how this Christmas holiday look looks like um, so you guys can do another lipstick if you guys don't want to do red I wanted to do red because you know it's Christmas and I don't want to do anything red or green on my eye lips I mean I would like to but I want to do something more wearable something that you know anyone can do and anyone can wear because like I said before in my video not everyone is not everyone is going to like red and green on their eyes so this is a very you know feminine and very easy and festive look and um yeah guys I hope you guys like it 
So this is the end of the video. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up on my video. And if you guys want to know anything about me and if you guys want to see something different in my channel, please let me know down below. Bye.